And now with an exclusive interview with one of the stars of the critically acclaimed hit show, 30-something, correspondent Meryl Marco. Thanks, Annabelle. That's right. I have scored a real coup for not necessarily the news this time. I'm here with Polly Draper, the star of TV's 30-something. <laughs> Holly, thanks for being here. This oh, so I'm thrilled to be here. But Meryl, I'm not really the star of the show. I mean, most of the show is about the couples, and I'm barely in a lot of the episodes. That must be so frustrating for a woman of your exceptional talent and ability. Well, you must know the feeling. I mean, what are you on in this show? Like three, four minutes tops? <laughs> not even that some weeks. <laughs> <laughs> now, your background, though, was so interesting. I mean, you went to Yale Drama School. You did off-Broadway plays. Didn't you play Othello at some point? Yes, I did. That was quite a stretch for me, playing Othello. I love to be stretched as an actress, though. I really, really love to, which is why I've done this new pilot that I'm really excited about, because it, it lets me show a lot of different colors. In Hollywood, they really like to typecast you. Well, you must know that. <laughs> Do I ever. <laughs> But, I mean, a woman with your range and ability as an actress, I mean, you are a multifaceted talent. Well, ditto for you, Meryl. <laughs> and since I respect you so much, that's why I'm really anxious to see what you think of my new pilot, which I think is kind of a breakthrough. Um, so I brought a clip. Do you want to see it? No, really? That is so exciting. So this is going to be a world premiere? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Let's take a look now at a not necessarily the news world premiere of a brand new show starring some incredibly underused talent. Always laughing, never crying. Ain't we some funny babes? Always living, never dying. Sure we're some funny babes, oh. Always on the go, we are some funny babes. Life good to us, cause we're some funny babes. Um, where are you? Ah! Oh, good night. How'd your show go? <laughs> well, it was just about like every week. I was on for just under three minutes. How about you? Oh, same. I was barely there. All I did was talk about Lyme disease and say, pass the salt. What else is new? Nothing. That's why it's so great that we get to live here in this swell loft in Greenwich Village and have all these wacky adventures. I'll say. Hi. 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 Remember me? I'm your next door neighbor. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not really in the show this week. No, no you're really you're not. Really not. Yeah. I wanted to say hi. Yeah. Yeah. Mention Lyme disease. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. I can't believe they got her such an expensive outfit for just I a walk know. on them. I can't believe it. So, what do we have for dinner? I had sort of a wacky idea about that. I thought, <laughs> no telling around here. <laughs> you never really know what's going to happen in this place. You don't, do you? I think I'm going to get it. Listen, it's okay. I've got you covered. <laughs> Please, don't be afraid. We are a couple of models from Soviet Union. On hunks from the USSR calendar tour. We need a place to hide. So we can't defect. Do you know anyone who'd give us shelter? Polly, that show looks fabulous. When will it be on so we can see more of it? Well... We don't have a time slot yet, but we're really, really... I hoping. can't believe it. You mean you're still looking for a buyer for a show like that? Well, believe it or not, we are, yeah. But we shouldn't have any trouble. Gee. Because early testing showed that it appeals to all demographic samples. Oh, I can see that easily. I mean, there's something for the minorities. It's as current as today's headlines. In fact, I understand you brought us another Meryl, clip. Meryl, excuse me. I thought this was supposed to be an interview segment. I mean, what's going on here tonight? First, Guppy's in here whining about a nail in his tire. And now you're on using your position on the show to do something that's so self-serving, it's, it's just beyond belief. No, I, th I think you're mistaken. This is an interview with the star of TV. No, Star. No, no, you were in that show. You're airing a pilot and masquerading it as an interview on our show. Well, I like to think of it sort of as a cross-promotion like they do on the networks, where they, <laughs> one person will have a show. And I don't care what your excuse is. Using time on our show to promote your career... It, it's, it's inconceivable. Uh, excuse me, Tom. 
I felt that it was an insightful look at the lifestyles of today's women. And you. You're an anchor woman appearing on a sitcom. A piece of shit sitcom. <laughs> you should be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> we'll be right back.